What's good, YouTube? I hope everybody's having a great day today. As you guys can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best jump shot for every build in NBA 2K22 Current Gen Season 7. Now, I'm going to be giving you guys three jump shots, okay? One is strictly for playmaking shot creators, okay? Or just any build that has a high three-pointer that gets the fast jump shots. The second jump shot I'm going to be giving you is for ISO builds. Now, this could be for short ISO builds, tall ISO builds. I use it on any type of ISO build that I that I that I play on and then the last one is going to be for all my poppers out there okay now I'm making this video because I like to think I'm one of the more versatile youtubers on the platform okay I mean I can really play any position I want to I can play popper I can play play shot I can play point forward I could play lock actually I I can't play lock I'm pretty bad at lockdown but other than lock I could basically play any position I could, I'm good on the twos the ones court the threes court I even play a little bit of pro am this year so I think I'm the most versatile youtuber on this platform so I'm going to help out everybody with every build to make sure you guys get your jump shots right now The first thing you're gonna want to do is make sure you have your meter off. Okay, you're never going to want to play with meter All right, there's no point when you turn your shot meter off It actually gives you a jump shot boost too So that's really good to help you green your shot So for vibration and shot meter you're gonna want to turn those off vibration actually doesn't matter anymore Because I don't think vibration uh, works with your shot anymore So you can keep vibration on if you like it me personally I don't and then shot meter you're gonna want to turn off shot timing you're gonna want to put on to shots only okay obviously you don't want layup timing because you can smoke wide open layups for no reason and nobody wants that i know i don't want that so you're going to want to put shot timing on shots only you're not going to want to use real player percentage now don't get me wrong if you're using a build that has a high three point attribute and you're wide open i'm pretty sure it will literally go in every time but if someone's even like one percent contested or anything like that they're a little bit close to you i'm pretty sure it misses so you're not going to want to use that plus it, it's not fun okay there's no skill gap to it it's literally you just you just tap square and and you have to hope it goes in that's stupid that's not fun nobody wants that so put it on shots only but let's get straight into it now make sure you guys check the description okay i'll be putting the timestamps for each jump shot and then the gameplay for that jump shot in there for those of you who don't want to watch the whole video you want to skip through it i got you just go check the description while you're down there you might as well drop a like on the video all right i would appreciate it you know it does help me out i'm trying to help you guys out you know you can help me out also if you're not sub make sure to drop a sub all right but let's get straight into it now for the first jump shot i got you guys for all my playmaking shot creators out there or any small point guards that have a high three-point rating, I would recommend having at least like a 85 three-point rating to use this jump shot. Now, the reason why this jump shot is so good is because of the fact that some jump shots, they get like delays based on like the angles you shoot at or like the way your player shoots. With set shot 25, it's the same timing every single time. So you, for those little crack shots that you want to shoot, if somebody's to the side of you, blinders, anything like that, this is the perfect jump shot to use because it's the easiest to time. Now, the releases are pretty basic. It's release one Rudy Gay, release two Paul George. Rudy Gay, you're going to want to put at 40%, and Paul George, you're going to want to put at 60%. Release speed, of course, you're going to want to put that at 100%. If you have a fast three-point rating, you, you can get off quick shots using blinders and mismatch expert and all that, so you might as well put it on the faster speed so you get lower contests, which then allows you to green the tougher shots. Now, you can use this jump shot for if you're left-handed, right-handed. It does not matter. But anyways, let's get straight into the gameplay with this jump shot. I'm going to just show a quick little gameplay to so you, to show you guys what it looks like in game okay but let's get straight into that all right y'all so i'm in the mic core right now to show y'all what the actual jump shot looks like like in game and i put on the trailblazers mascot just because i like using mascots in general but the thing is this mascot you can still see your releases you can see what the jump shot looks like with it so that's that's good for the video you see me though green on the right hand side of the court i'm gonna show you what it looks like in every spot of the court because obviously some jump shots depending on what like handedness you are it looks different but you see me on the left side, I whited it, it happens, I, I haven't played the game all day, you know, let me, let me breathe. But as you guys can tell, this jump shot, it's, it's very easy to time, okay? It's not hard to, you know, it's not hard to get used to. The jump, the timing never really changes, and that's what I love about this jump shot. So when you want to shoot the, the sneaky blinders jump shots that, like, you can't usually shoot with base 3 because the timing will change... That does not happen with this jump shot. It's very easy to time, and the timing just never changes, no matter what situation you put yourself in. You see me far left green. That's what it looks like over there. Let me show you guys what it looks like in the middle of the court. 
That's what it looks like in the middle of the court. You see it. Look, it's just, you can just tell by the, by watching it. It's just that easy to time. But on a real note though, I'm not gonna lie. Dribbling on a play shot is so much fun. Let me know if you guys want to see a video of me playing on one. Cause it's so much fun. I could probably, I could probably pop out to the comp stage and, and see if I could win a few games. If you guys, if that's what you guys want to see. Now for the next jump shot, this is going to be for all of my ISO players out there. Now this is the current jump shot that I'm using. Okay. It's a little bit basic. Okay. Yeah. I got Rudy Gay in it. It is what it is, okay? For the base, you're going to want to go with base 3, release 1, Rudy Gay, and release 2, release 59. Now, release 59, it's kind of random. I was just scrolling through, like, the numbers of the releases, and I was trying to see what has a high release. And 59, had, a, he had it had a decently high release, and I thought it would look good with Rudy Gay, so I put it together, and I was right. Now, when I'm on an ISO build, I like, it keep, I like to keep it simple with my jump shots. You know, something I know how to time, because I have a lower 3-point rating, so I, I can't, ha I don't have that much leniency to go with. So, Rudy Gay is perfect. Perfect. Base three, it keeps it quick, but it's not set shot 25, okay? Set shot 25 is a little bit too quick, I'm not gonna lie. Base three is right there in the little sweet spot, and it'll help you get off those fast jump shots. Now, for the release speed, obviously, you're gonna want to go with 100 speed. Nothing less, okay? Anything less than that, you might as well just go with base 98. The animation blending, you're gonna want to go with Rudy Gay, 62%, and then release 59, 38%. Those were kind of random percents, okay? I kind of had an idea of what I wanted the jump shot to look like, and this is just what I found. So that's what I threw on. But let me go straight into the my court just to show you guys what it looks like in game. All right, take two. We're in the my court now so I could show you guys what this jump shot looks like in game with no meter now. Let me get open though. It's AI. You see me though, green light. It's very easy to time, like I said. It keeps it simple, okay? It's nothing too flashy. Yeah, I might as well show y'all what the long arms look like, right? It's not even ugly when you white it. Green light, you see me top of the key. Again, it's very easy to time, okay? Don't mind that white that I shot. You see me on the left side, green. This jump shot's very consistent, okay? You can just tell when to release uh, the square button just by looking at your player, really. And the build I'm showcasing this on literally has a 73-pointer. And you see me, I'm literally just shooting over this guy. Like, it's it's just, this is just a great, like, jump shot to use. That's really all I can say about it. Like, you know, I, I don't want to repeat myself. Oh, yeah, it's consistent, this, that. But, I mean, there's really nothing else to say. It's just, it's exactly what you need in a jump shot. Let me show you guys what it looks like on the right side, actually. If I can get open, because this guy, oh, wow, this, he's got defense. There we go, right side, green light. Let me see if I can show you guys in the corners, too. I don't know if I'll be able to get open in the corner, though. In the corner, you see me, green light. It's really just to show you guys what the jump shot looks like at all angles. But you see me, though, 11 made, 11 attempts. Left corner, I whited it. That's fine. Let's say it happens, all right? I have a 73-pointer. Obviously, you're not going to hit every shot. But you'll hit a lot of them, all right? You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. And I will say, this is probably my favorite jump shot that I'm showing you guys in this video, okay? I've had the most success with it, even though I had a low three-point I have a th low three point rating. But let's get straight into the popper jump shot. All right, y'all, for the last jump shot, this one is going to be out to all my poppers out there. What's up, y'all? I miss you guys, all right? I haven't played on my popper in a while. But whenever I did, this was the chicken jump shot that I used. You literally will not miss this jump shot again. It's a little bit basic, okay? And it's very similar to the jump shot that I use in my ISO build. But that's okay, all right? We don't mind. For the base, you're gonna wanna go with jump shot three, okay? Base three, it's very quick, but it's not set shot 25. I don't actually like using set shot 25 on catch and shoot jump shot. Release one, you're gonna wanna go with Rudy Gay. Again, it's very basic, but it gets the job done. Release two, Russell Westbrook. I think it looks very good with Rudy Gay and when you mix when you mix them together. And then blend, you're gonna wanna put 75, 25. Release speed, you're gonna wanna use 100%. Now, for all my poppers out there, how have you guys been? All right, I haven't done any popper videos like since I came back to YouTube, which is crazy because being a popper is how I got my come up. So I mean, let me know if you guys want to see any videos of me on a popper. All right, I'm 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 down to give you guys a few more just just to say goodbye to that little community. All right, I'm an ISO player now. All right, I'm a dribbler. Okay, I'm a dribble head. But let me show you what this looks like in game. Now, obviously, you know I can't really get open and dribble on a popper, so I'm gonna just do the shoot around. Okay, you see the six though? Look at me cooking up. But let me show you guys what the jump shot looks like. We're gonna start in the corner for all my corner spot ups out there you see me green bean in the corner it's very easy to time of course base three rudy gay it is what it is i'm gonna go around the three-point line just to show you guys what it looks like in all the spots okay i'm gonna be honest this is incredibly annoying because i don't think in the shoot around you have jump shot boost bro and jump shot boosts are a big part of the game i'm a three for five right now this is bad it's making the jump shot look bad i promise it's not that though you see me i'm still greening though four for six you don't really need the jump shot boost come on man 
And then the left corner, green light. That's what it looks like around the uh, the three-point line. I'm showing you guys every angle it shoots from. It's very easy to time off the catch and shoot. Look at that fade, green light. Nah, but seriously, man, it is a very simple jump shot at the time. It's not. It's nothing too much, all right? You're just a catch and shoot player. This is all you really need for all my poppers out there. I got you. I'm pretty sure you can use this on, like, a stretch big, too. I don't know if you guys have stretch bigs. Like, I don't even know if that's a thing. But, like, any center that you need to shoot on, yeah, you could definitely use this for sure. But that's going to conclude it for today's video. Hold on, let me turn my cam on. That's going to conclude it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this was helpful for you guys, all right? I want to see you guys greening your shot. Shots, okay, I don't want to I can't have you guys out here missing you guys are you guys are my subs I got to make sure you guys have the best jump shots the best sigs all of that even though sigs wasn't in this video But I got to make sure I got to get you guys right Okay, I got to make sure you're out there busting people's ass in a park and I got you Okay, I hope this delivered I hope this helped if it did make sure to drop a like comment down in the video comment down below too If it did help I want to know okay I want to see my satisfied customers Let me know which of the jump shots you guys used and you know how you liked them if you didn't like them Listen, you can be honest with me. Okay, I I can I I can take criticism. But anyways, man, drop a like, subscribe, turn the post notifications on to always see when I post videos. And I love y'all, man. Peace out.